morning. <laughs> My name is Sarah, and I was asked to share how I came to Church of Southland Chino. I've been going to church all my life and started attending Church of Southland Anaheim when it started in 2001. I remember having our first Sunday services at Sequoia Athletic Club. I have fond memories of turkey bowls, churchwide fasts, and serving on the worship team. God was moving at our church, and I was thankful to be part of that. Fast forward a few years and a few building funds later, I met my husband through AMI, and we were eventually blessed with two wonderful, unique children. As I found it difficult to play bass with an ever-growing belly, I took my maternity leaves. I did my best to stay afloat, juggling motherhood, a job, a marriage, and keeping up our home. And as time passed, I found myself falling into depression. The enemy found ways to isolate me from people, especially church community. I started missing cell group meetings and later even Sunday services, thinking of every excuse I could think of. I stopped meeting up with friends and family. I think the term now was ghosting. Well, I was Casper. <laughs> I remember waking up in the morning doing the absolute minimum in my responsibilities. My sole purpose was just to get through the day, just for the cycle to start all over again. And somehow, I always knew in my heart of hearts that God was there with me. He never left me. I just didn't know how to resurface. And then we heard about Church of South Lanchino opening. My husband and I saw it as a new beginning, a new start. And slowly God, in his wonderful love and grace, began to pull me out of the darkness. He gently turned my eyes outward instead of constantly inward. I started ascending cell again, and my cell leader encouraged us to sign up for the encounter retreat. And at encounter, God began to heal and restore. He helped me release a lot of unforgiveness and bitterness in my heart, and God reminded me that there is victory in the cross. He told me he had found me and was not letting me go. For a very long time, I felt like a city without walls, but God is rebuilding those walls brick by brick. After going to church my entire life, I am now excited to go to church again. God has provided community and new friendships, and after thinking we were the only Southlanders who lived in Corona, we discovered we had so many neighbors. There are three Michelles within a mile or two from us. <laughs> now when I wake up in the mornings, instead of just wanting the day to end, I try to greet the Holy Spirit and tell him I'm ready for the day. I feel so thankful and blessed. God is good. I'll end with one of my favorite verses, 2 Corinthians 12, 9. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. Thank you and happy anniversary, Church of Southlands, you know.